excited because we're going to do a little game today, a little listening game. I'm going to let you listen to an example of an instrument without showing you a picture, without doing anything, and I want you to guess what that instrument is. All right, so we're going to start with our first instrument and listen to this example. All right, I'm sure you're guessing right out. We'll give you five seconds. And it's the violin, the violin. Excellent. Now we learned a lot about the violin, about how old it is, right? It's almost 500 years old, which is amazing, right? And we still use the same type of violins to this day. They didn't do many things to change them. In fact, they try to recreate those old violins as best they can. All right, here we go. Number two, let's listen to this instrument. Now this should be easy, right? Because we play this instrument. I love it, a lot of different styles, five seconds. And of course, it's the piano, the piano. Now, pianos come in all different sizes, right? We have baby grands like this one. We have uprights. We have keyboards like the one I have, right? So it could be different. They come in small sizes, big sizes, but they all function exactly the same way. And we learned that it was invented in 1709. So pretty old. All these instruments are pretty old, which is awesome. All right, here we go. Number three, number three, let's take a listen. Love the way that sounds. All right, here we go, five seconds. And of course, that's the trumpet, the trumpet. So cool about the trumpet, right? We have a brass instrument, right? It's made out of the metal called brass. We had our friend Gergo, our Hungarian friend, show us how it functions, right? How he makes the sound with the mouthpiece. And the fact that there's so much tubing inside the trumpet that you could stretch it out and have over six and a half feet of tubing. It's awesome. I love the way it sounds. We hear it in classical music. We hear it in jazz. Really, really versatile instrument. All right, here we go. Number four. Did you get three so far? Let's try number four. Let's take a listen. All right, remember we have two different versions of this one. Five seconds. And the answer is, of course, the guitar. The guitar. And you see me play the guitar quite often, right? I have my acoustic guitar. But then the one example that you see here is an electric guitar, right? And the electric guitar, you have to plug in to an amplifier. And that's more the type of guitar that you'd hear in rock and roll and blues and heavy metal and things like that. Those get really loud, but they're both guitars, right? So you have acoustic and electric. 